These joists sit in these timber hangers right here, and they're fastened to this 2x10 right here, which is called a ledger board. But what I don't see is any mechanical fasteners through the ledger holding the deck to the house. When it comes to the world of home renovation and construction, a renowned face comes to mind, and he's none other than Tom Silver or Tommy from this old house. Many of us have probably spent countless hours watching Tommy and his team work their magic on those classic PBS shows. From the first friendly handshake with homeowners to the satisfying sound of hammers and saws, there's just something about Tommy that keeps us coming back for more. And of course, who can forget those genius construction tips that Tommy always seemed to have up his sleeve. While Tom Silver's professional life has been well documented on TV, fans are keen to discover what's been unfolding in his personal life as well. Has he taken on any exciting new ventures or projects outside of the show? Well, let's get to know what really happened to Tom Silver in this old house. Even though I have one of these, I don't use it very much because I have a simple way to bisect that angle to give you a perfect miter. Tom Silver was born on January the 17th, 1947 in good old Lexington, Massachusetts, USA, and has been around for a while. Now, when it comes to Tom's family, his dad, Richard Silver, was a carpenter. That's probably where Tom got his knack for things related to construction. He's got two brothers and one sister. The whole gang lived in Massachusetts, and you can bet they had some interesting family gatherings. Little Tommy didn't waste any time getting his hands dirty. Growing up, he and his brothers were like pint-sized construction pros. They lived in this ancient 1787 colonial house, and guess what they did? They decided to build a fallout shelter beneath it. Now, they weren't exactly experts in nuclear bunkers, but during the Cold War, everyone was a bit jittery about the possibility of a nuclear war. So, they did what any self-respecting DIY family would do. They built their own shelter. Tom and his kin figured out that it would help protect them from radiation in case things get dicey with those nuclear explosions. Their fallout shelter venture wasn't just a one-time thing. It was like the spark that ignited a lifelong passion. After successfully building their underground sanctuary, Tom and his nephew Charles decided to take things up a notch. They put their heads and hammers together and founded the Silver Brothers Construction Company. You could say it was the beginning of a DIY empire. The Silver Brothers Construction Company was quietly doing their thing for a while, just minding their own business. They weren't destined to stay in the shadows forever though. Their moment in the spotlight came when they built the first set for the Victory Gardens, and suddenly they were the talk of the town. Now, fast forward to when Tommy and his crew were working their construction magic on a house. Little did they know that Destiny had something grander in store for them. Russell Morash, the mastermind behind this old house, spotted Tommy and his crew, and he said great work attracts great opportunities. Russell was so impressed that he invited them to become the permanent contractors for the show. So, Tommy became a part of the show. Tommy made his official debut on This Old House in 1986. The show had been rocking the airwaves since 1979, and back in the day, the show's captain was none other than Bob Villa. It was all about outdoor adventures and gardening escapades, but behind the scenes, some construction wizardry was required. That's where Tommy and his trusty construction company came to the rescue. Originally, James Underwood Crockett was the show's host, but sadly, he left too soon. Bob Thompson stepped in as the new maestro, and that's when things really started to heat up. With Tommy on board, the show expanded its horizons to cover a whole bunch of topics, like potting, planting, pest control, and pruning. Tom and his gang were joined by some other cool cats over the years. Ever heard of Roger Swain, Michael Weishan, and Jamie Dury? Well, they all dropped by to share their wisdom and add some spice to the show. And it wasn't just about fixing up some old houses, it was about magic with hammers and saws, and Tom Silver is the magician-in-chief. He was the show's lead carpenter, which meant he was the guy who tackled all those mind-boggling renovation and construction projects that made our jaws drop. Not only did Tom wield his tools with skill, but he also had the knack for explaining complex construction stuff in a way that didn't make our heads spin. DIY enthusiasts across the nation owe him big time for the countless valuable insights and tips he dished out. 
Tom became famous for his signature move, taking old rundown houses and turning them into architectural masterpieces. His greatest hits include Carlisle House, which was an 1820s farmhouse and was in desperate need of TLC. Well, Tom and his crew came to the rescue. They fixed up the foundation, gave it a shiny new roof, and somehow managed to restore its historic charm. Tommy also transformed an old cramped layout, Arlington Arts and Crafts House, into a spacious, energy-efficient haven. They tackled structural issues, added an extra dormer, and even threw in some eco-friendly features. Lexington Bed and Breakfast was his most challenging project. It was a historic B&B in need of some serious TLC. Tom brought his A-game, meticulously restoring woodwork, doors, windows, revamping guest rooms and common areas. Tom also took on a mid-century modern gem in Brookline. They updated and expanded it for modern living while preserving its sleek retro style. It was like time traveling through design. Recently, he ventured into sustainable construction Jamestown Net Zero House. The clients aimed for a home that produced as much energy as it used in a net zero dream. Tom and the gang brought in solar panels and top-notch insulation to make it happen. Well, Tom wasn't just hammering nails, he was also schooling us. His gift was taking complex construction lingo and turning it into DIY 101. Pros and DIY enthusiasts alike flocked to him for knowledge. He wasn't just a carpenter, he was a construction mentor. Thanks to his stint on this old house, Tom went from a regular carpenter to a national sensation. He didn't stop at TV, he was giving speeches, popping up on other shows and even sharing his wisdom in construction magazines. The man was everywhere. Now, fast forward again to more recent times, the show took a little break from 2013 to 2015, but you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. Season 42 rolled in like a boss on October the 4th, 2020 and they wrapped it up with style on June the 6th, 2021. This old house is still going strong, keeping homeowners in the know about all things home improvement. They've been doing it since day one and they're not planning to stop anytime soon. So whether you're a DIY enthusiast or just love watching experts turn houses into homes, this show's got your back. This old house gave a lot to him but Tommy didn't stop there. He decided to take his talents beyond the tool belt and was appointed as a senior vice president of marketing and strategy by the Alta Group. When he wasn't busy dishing out construction advice to eager homeowners, he was busy penning down some wisdom for This Old House magazine and other publications from This Old House universe. In fact, back in 2000, he even gave us the Homeowner's Manual, advice on maintaining your home. As for his personal life, he tied the knot with Susan Silver and they've been rocking the couple scene for over three decades now. Their love story is as solid as a well-constructed foundation they have kids to show for it, a son named TJ Silver and a daughter named Kate Silver. Tommy and his crew reside in a suburb of Boston in a charming 19th century house. But here's the cool part, even though his house is older than the hills, Tommy can't resist putting his skills to good use. He's constantly renovating and sprucing up the place, making it a showcase of his incredible construction and renovation talents. He has a cool net worth of $5 million as of 2023 and it's no surprise really considering all the different gigs he's got going on. From TV to books, from advising homeowners to big time strategy work, Tommy's got a lot of irons in the fire and it's paying off big time. Tommy is everything. He's a marketing strategist, an author, a family man and a renovation guru all rolled into one. A guy like him can build not just houses, but a whole empire of knowledge and success. And he's not ready to retire just yet. Tommy is not just about bricks and beams. He's about inspiring generations to embrace craftsmanship, preservation, and the joy of making a house a home. He is not just a master of construction. He's a master of leaving a lasting legacy that keeps him in our hearts forever.